Good morning. I'm sure you're wonky, and I'm sure that I'm right down here at the bottom of the screen as well. Because you're on the um, you're on the bendy tripod that attaches in front of the desk, and it's uh, I think it's on its last leg. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. It's a Monday. Don't ask me which Monday, I think it might be the 17th of October. And I thought I'd vlog today. I thought I would vlog today as I'm meeting up with Caroline in Bridgewater for lunch and shopping. It's been really, really wet here all night, but I'm hoping it's drier in Bridgewater today. Before I go to do that, I have to finish my weekend parcels i did half of them yesterday sorry i've not long woken up at 6 30 a.m in case i didn't say that i did half of them yesterday now i need to do the other half today i had a good weekend sales can't complain about that do you want to show you a few bits that are going out this is a bundle of four books that i have sold for 99p honestly i told you i've had a good weekend sales. i actually have had a good weekend sales but this wasn't one of them this was an auction listing that i started at 99p and it went for the start price and i know there's only three there it's because lexi's taken one of them on holiday with her luckily they're coming back tonight from their holiday so i'm not packing that today <laughs> natalie said if you've got any david williams books and i said yeah 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 help yourself they don't sell i can't shift them and lo and behold one sold while, while she while she was away on holiday with it so hopefully it's come back and it's not been in the sea or the swimming pool or anything um, this is not a bundle that's going out because this is one that I took down thinking I could borrow one out of it. It's the wrong one anyway. This beetroot jar is going out. Um, I would tell you some sold prices. Hang on, I told you the 99p, didn't I? Bear with. Can you tell I wasn't properly ready for this? I started before I was actually um, all set up. This is sold very cheaply on offer after an awful lot of back and forth shin digging with the, um, with the buyer. He sent me an offer. I countered. He countered back, but while... In the, in, in the intervening time, I had gone downstairs to make my dinner. Half an hour later, I came back upstairs to find a couple of messages from him saying, I am waiting for your response. And the next one said, well, I didn't expect you to ghost me in the middle of making a deal. So I sent back, wow, that's rude. I don't think I want to sell my item to you. To which he seemed astonished. He was like, well, I didn't mean to be offensive. I don't know why you're upset. I just, um, and I was like, I took half an hour out of a busy day to go and make myself a, a meal. Just because you've sent me an offer doesn't mean that you're entitled to an instant response. I was doing something else. I responded within half an hour. Um, anyway, the next day he, was like, he sent me a very apologetic message saying he'd still like to buy the item and would, would I still be prepared to sell it to him, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we've cleared the air. We're fine. We're, we're besties now. <laughs> it has sold all of this, all of this shenanigans for a massive £7. Yeah, £7. I have sold this Laura Ashley bag, which is dusty on the bottom where I just put it against something else. Laura Ashley bag, and that has gone for £21. This is the one, the one, the one of the, oh, I can't speak, this is one of the ones that was sent to me by the lovely Sharon when she sent me a box of handbags. I've just realised I've brought the wrong mug downstairs. I've sold a Dunoon Scottish whiskey mug. I'm glad I noticed that before I packed it, because this isn't it. This is the wrong mug. This needs to go back upstairs. <laughs> Bother. And I've sold this M&S Marks and Spencer replacement chrome stacking station for stacking mugs. You know, I sell the stacking mugs. Well, this was a spare one of those, and that's gone for six pound and seven p. I realise none of these are sounding like a good weekend sales, but as I said, I did pack half of them yesterday, and I've got a few more to pick. So I'm going to go in the loft, swap the mug around for the right one, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm taking you off the wobbly tripod because, frankly, you don't seem to know how to behave this morning. You were determined to fall over. You weren't doing me any favours. I need to blow my nose now. I have also sold a Kath Kidston mug for £19.99, I think. Or was it £18.99? I'm starting to doubt myself now. £19.99. A Disney Eeyore grumpy mug for £11.24. I put 25% sale on a lot of mugs. I wanted to have a bit of a clear out, so I put 25% sale out on a lot of stuff. Dresses, mugs, comforters loads of stuff loads of stuff is currently 25 percent off in my store i don't know how long it lasts but it's 25 percent off anyway i have sold this disney winnie the pooh comforter for six pound fifty i have sold these white stuff alston shoes which came from the car boot a few weeks ago they have gone for 16 pound fifty this is the mug that i bought the wrong one down of this is dunoon scottish whiskey mug and that has sold for 12 pounds i've sold the wylera hair twizzly thing curler 
that I got at the Saturday boot sale a few weeks ago. I don't know, but it's the first time I've ever been to that particular boot sale. I paid £3 for this and it sold for £50 within a day of listing. I put it on at £59.99. I accepted an offer of £50. I probably could have hung out and got the full price, but I was like, you know, £3 into £50, I will have that. I have sold this, which is a French Connection winter faux fur coat. You know, like fun fur, that kind of warm, fluffy stuff. That has gone for... £33.74 again on the 25% offer and and I have sold never if you're thinking about taking up eBay reselling don't no but if you are never have a bit of your stock storage system that you dread having to access for me that's this bit hang on I've got two of these they are full of cuddly toys Every time I sell one of them, I dread having to get them out and sort through it and find it. Every time. There are two. It's always in the second one after I've been through the first one, always without fail. So I've tried going through the second one first. That doesn't work either. It's in the first one. I've sold a Sainsbury's Play and Go star thing and it's in one of these bags. Wish me luck. <laughs> found it in an ideal world in a world with more space i would have the plush stored in boxes alphabetized a to d d to so on and so forth in the same way that i have the clothes but i don't have the space at present it might be something i try and work towards in the loft try and make the space for that to happen because I absolutely dread having to go through those bags. It doesn't take that long. It's just a hot and flustery job. And sometimes I go through them both and it's apparently not in either of them. And then I have to go through them both again. And it was in the first one at the bottom and I didn't see it. Anyway, I've got it today. That's that done. Next is going back to bed. No, next is not going back to bed. It is now seven o'clock, seven o'clock. I have got one hour to get my parcels done, which is plenty of time to do these parcels because I need to meet Anthony on the field at eight for dog walks. Right, packing parcels is next. <laughs>
Ready? Go, go, go! Anthony. Milo's also with Anthony, although Milo's in a completely different part of the field. <laughs> Milo and Ada are uh, some of Anthony's dog walking clients. Sorry, I'm out of breath, just climbing up. Oh, <laughs> Molly got mowed down. So yeah, just climbing the hill so that we can all so that we can all walk together this morning <laughs> and have um, and have a fight, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> corner we have Milo 18 months old muscular Romanian or somewhere in the blue corner we have Ada how old is Ada three or four years old not particularly muscular but not giving up and fast Ada will win <laughs> Ada will just bowl him over she just rolls him in the dirt and then runs away Buddy, not getting involved. Oh, not getting involved, are you, mate? And Kai's just over there shouting at stuff. <laughs> okay, I am, as you can see, back from the dogs. I've done hair and makeup. I've eaten my breakfast. I intended to vlog breakfast this morning and then I remembered when I finished it so that didn't happen but it was um, Protein World Waffles if you saw last week's vlog that I put out from one day last week you'll have seen that I had a delivery of the Protein World Skinny Pancake Mix <laughs> sorry the sun's a bit bright and I used it to make waffles so this morning I've had waffles with strawberries and chocolate shop for my breakfast I've done hair and makeup I've pontificated about whether to wear a coat or a cardigan, settled on cardigan. In my experience, no matter where I go and when I go there, I'm always wearing the wrong damn clothes. Whenever I'm too far from home for it to be, I'll pop in and change. I'm always, you know, if I wear, wear, I'm always wearing the long damn clothes. A number of coats that I've bought when I've been out somewhere because I haven't bought a coat or coats that I've ended up taking off because I'm in a coat that I don't need. I'm always, I just I don't seem to be able to get my clothing right for wherever I'm going, but it's a nice day today, so I decided I would take a chance on cardigan instead of coat. God, this is thrilling. Oh my God. I can hear you falling asleep. Wake up. <laughs> okay. I am going to drop off my parcels. I've got two massive bags of parcels in the back and there's still a couple I haven't done because they came in after I'd done the first lot and while I was out with the dogs. And in my head, I was going to have time to go home and do them. And we didn't, we just didn't have time to go home and do them. So they'll have to go tonight. Again, wake up. <laughs> Parcel shop. Annoyingly, God, this is really, this is, I don't tell you what's riveting now. I hope you're not asleep for this. You'll be gutted if you miss this. Annoyingly, I've got two for Yodel. I normally send all my parcels by every, but I've got two for Yodel because I clicked the wrong button in Packlink and ended up sending two by Yodel. It's been it's been one of those lives it's been one of those lifetimes <laughs> so parcel shop and then off down the motorway meeting caroline's i don't know if i said this i know, I know i've said i'm meeting caroline but i don't know if i said where we're meeting in bridgewater we were going to do burnham and we've changed it to bridgewater so that's where i'm off to
Okay. That took longer than it ought to have done. There's a gentleman in the parcel shop who I've not seen there before. And he was not completely au fait with the parcel drop off technology. But that's fine because I am, so I ended up doing it for him. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I was not first in the queue. If I'd been first in the queue, then that would have been, you know, that's fine, I'll do it. But he was struggling with another couple of customers first, and in the end, I kind of said, can I help? You know, I know what I'm doing. So anyway, 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 blah, blah, blah. Bridgewater. texting each other she's going I'm here and I'm like, I'm here too and she's like where are you and then she just appeared <laughs> hello are you vlogging I am vlogging today yeah Costa is absolutely rammed I'm not saying you can't have a coffee I'm just giving you the advance warning that no. it is absolutely heaving yeah. in there I don't even like coffee in Costa to be honest and there's McDonald's behind Costa. you how badly do you want the coffee oh not that bad yeah I can wait 10 minutes Ten minutes. <laughs> We've got ten minutes until no, Caroline fine. implodes. Have you been in Co Costa then? I went in for a wee. Oh right. You getting in? Why do that many people go into Costa? It's not like something. It is absolute heaven. When I got there, the queue was out the door. I, I kind of bypassed the queue to use the loo. Well, why didn't you person. get me a bloody coffee, you selfish because cow? Because the queue was out the door. I don't even drink oh, coffee, God, really? and I don't give a <laughs> about you. Yeah. Hashtag pack. Close friendship. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we are we on for the line dancing? Yes! Are we going line dancing? One of you in Caroline's comments suggested that the two of us should go line dancing together. I don't know if oh, you think... No, I didn't see someone suggest you should that. come as well. No, yeah. I haven't seen yeah, that. And, and sent me behind. a message as well, just in case I missed it. <laughs> now, I don't know <laughs> if you think perhaps I don't look enough of an idiot often enough. Maybe that's it. Maybe you watch my channel and you go, yeah, she doesn't make a fool of herself anywhere near often enough. I think side note, line just, dancing would be fun, I, but we wouldn't necessarily get it. Uh, I was really more all about the cowboy boots and the sort of. Oh, you're about the outfit. You're not about more the activity. More so than the activity. <laughs> 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 we just dress up in line dancing outfits and just stand around. Well, I don't know. No, we could go to a place where there was line dancing. Feel my strut. <laughs> do do do. Here's my strut. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are going. Hang on, turn the camera. We're going in there, which has been. Traditionally disappointing. 
Every time we've been in no, there. No, not every time. Not every time. I've got some Hobbs dresses once. Caroline says she got some Hobbs dresses once in there, so not always disappointing, but I've never found anything that's made me do a little skippity jump. But you never know, today <laughs> might be the day. So we're going in there. Caroline can manage 20 minutes without coffee before something terrible happens, apparently. Something terrible! That's <laughs> very terrible. high pitch. <laughs> okay, we've done that charity shop. I did pick up a couple of bits. I will show you later, so I'm just plugging you in. Um, I had to turn the phone off. I, I was going to record some stuff in the charity shop and I had to turn the phone off because um, it was absolutely red hot. So I turned you off for a bit to let you calm down. You were overheating and hopefully you'll be all right now. I'm not quite sure why my phone was overheating so much. We are back in our respective cars. We are now heading off to Angel Place, which is, we always meet here so we can go in this big one. And then we go off to Angel Place, which is the shopping centre and park there and then we go around the town. So yeah. I just thought I'd explain why you didn't get any charity shop footage, not that you may have even cared. I am ravenous. I did have breakfast, even though you didn't see it. I remember having it. It was very nice, but it seemed like a long time ago and my stomach is rumbling. And I don't know whether we're doing lunch first or shops first. We even end up doing a bit of both. A bit, you know, shops, then lunch, then shops again. See you there in a minute. We've made it to the pub. Hello. We're in a booth. We, this was on. I've turned this off because it was <laughs> playing cricket right there. We're very in our close places. to it. We're not very crickety. Are you crickety? You might be crickety. Maybe you spend hours watching the cricket. No, no I don't really understand it. cricket. What if it works better that way? No, we're still not. Well, we're a bit more in shot. We're in the pub. We've, we've done the three. Went, I just went, I'm That's what I'm saying about my, my hair. Under turn it under, under, and it turns out the other way. We're still quite under, but my. Ridiculous. How, why does it do that? And how do you make it stay under? How do you make your hair stay Answers under? Answers in the comments. Please. Answers on a postcard, please, if you know how to make your hair stay under when you blow, 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 in the second one, I bought a Jamie Oliver flavour shaker because I am the Southwest premier distributor of such things. I've and heard of a, a book for your mother. You put your sauce, like to make a drizzle for your salad, you put your bits in and. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. And you shake it in a ladylike, demure manner. It's got a thing inside. And it has a ball it, inside that, that moves all the and so you so it mixes your salad dressing components or your sauce components. I use a jar. Well yes. But Jamie Oliver wants to make money so he makes flavour shakers. So I bought one of those and I bought a Tractor Tom DVD and Tractor Ted DVD and a book for my mother and that's all I bought. Have you bought anything? Just bought that nice little monsoon two piece yeah. or two piece with a furry collar vintage one. Um, yeah, but no, so, other um, than that. It's not a reseller's dream, Bridgewater, unfortunately. But as we know, I do not need a stress as well. Oh my god, it was close. No, it was right. Hob stress. I like your phone case. Not wish. Um, um, Sheehan, you know, you know the the war. I don't think we're allowed to say the word Sheehan. No, don't mention Sheehan. Oh my god, don't don't talk about the war. Anyway. We're having lunch. I am having steak and salad and... In a small bowl. The lady just came out, and the kitchen lady just came out, she said, oh, just to let you know, the salad will come out in a little bowl. Is that okay? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. As long as it don't come out in a mop bucket, I'm fine with it. So yeah, I've, I've got steak and salad coming in a little bowl and jacket potato, and Caroline's got barbecue chicken melt. Barbecue chicken melt which was my bee choice. If the steak wasn't available, then I was gonna, but yeah, so the steak is. So I'm being good. I'm being very well behaved. Caroline is cracking the whip and making sure I stay within my calories, aren't you, Caroline? No. <laughs> She's a fully grown adult. She can make her own decisions. I'm, overgr I'm an overgrown adult, I think you'll find. <laughs> Food has arrived. I've got, indeed, a very small steak. Jacket potato, salad. I really do actually want Caroline's now, because Caroline's got barbecue chicken melt with waffle fries. I want that instead of my own. They're called crisscross fries where I live. I've never come across a one. We're not that far from where you live either. No, just in the pub that we go to. They right. call them crisscross yeah. fries. Yeah. Okay, but in the comments section, ladies and gentlemen, what are these called where you live? I don't mind them being called. No, I'm interested. Fine, I'm, I'm interested now to know how, whether... Perhaps it's a regional thing. Whether it's a regional thing. What are these called where you live? 
I know what all this is called. This is called my lunch. Sadly, I had to send my steak back as it was completely inedible. There was no bit of it that I could even cut off, let alone put in my mouth. So we had to go back. And I've now got the chicken melt with jacket potato and salad this day. We've finished charity shopping. We're in a new cafe, which is inside in the place. That's the old cafe over there, and that closed down. And I can't remember what it's called. Sorry, what are you call creams? Uh, creams. Creams, it's called creams. Okay. It's so pretty. Look how pretty it all is. It's, it's so Instagrammable. I've just, just taken a picture of Caroline. So there you go, there's your Instagram. Oh, I, you know, I think you were filming that, film that wall. Uh, yeah, I do kind of want to film that wall, but there was a couple sitting there. So I'm just trying to film a bit quickly so that I'm not infringing people. But it's so pretty. It is really lovely. And, um, and we're not talking about this. This, for the purpose of the vlog, is Bruno, and we don't talk about Bruno. I'm trying on a really nice jacket. It's lovely. It's a really, really lovely jacket. However, I can only do it up if I lift it slightly above some of my other bits. And this is how I look in it. What do you think? It, it's a look. It's sexy, isn't it? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? That was very Sorry, blunt. I'm not very good with this. Is I just got my sexy? finger into you. It's, it's not the nicest thing I've ever seen you in, I've got to admit. I really like it, but it doesn't I, fit. I could, it looks better open. It looks better yeah, open, Yeah, but it needs for to sure. look as though it would close. Yeah, you know what I mean, I think if yeah. you wear something open and it wouldn't close, you can tell it wouldn't close. You're like, she's yeah. not that open because it wouldn't close. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> right, Caroline's gone home. Time for me to go home. I just popped in Aldi. I don't know if you can see Aldi behind me. Aldi Bridgewater. You had none of the things I wanted. I only wanted a few things, you had none of them. I'll take out myself a packet of lentil hoops. They sound yummy, don't they? Salt and vinegar flavoured lentil hoops, 91 calories per bite. Time to drive home. Um, and when I get home, I'll show you what I bought in the charity shops, which is very little, but I will show you anyway. See you in a bit. We're back on the dodgy tripod again, or dodge pod as I've decided to call it. <laughs> I am home. I thought I'd show you what I bought. Try not to fall off of that tripod while I'm showing you, okay? Just do your best. In the uh, PDSA shop, which is now everything £3 or under in Bridgewater, which was a nice surprise, I bought myself this top. I like a bit of animal print, you know I'm a bit bet lynch. It's only Bon Marche, but it's really nice. It was two pounds. It's got like a button detail down the back. You probably can't see that, but there's a button detail all down the back. I'm going to try it on in a minute, see if it fits. Please with that. Another thing I need to try on in a minute is this dress. I may have mentioned relentlessly over and over again that I'm going on a cruise in November. I'm very excited. I've been saving for it the best part of two years. So quite excited that it's finally here and there will be posh evenings. So I bought myself I'm not much of a frock person, as you know. This was three pounds and I thought I will give that a go. For three quid, it won't matter if it doesn't fit, I can resell it. I got a copy of Tractor Ted Diggers and Dumpers to resell. I, actually, I was gonna say I paid a pound for this, but actually Caroline paid for it and I haven't paid her back. So, um, so I stole that from Caroline. That was quid. I got a book from my mother called What's That Up To Now? A po probably terrible Yorkshire accent. Uh, £1.50, it's one of those um, real life memoir books that my mother likes and I got myself Lillian Beckwith Lightly Poached if you haven't read any of Lillian Beckwith there's a whole series of them it's about her retirement on a remote Hebridean island of Bruach which again I'm probably mispronouncing I've read them all I've read them all but you never see them in charity shops and although I own them all I don't own any in hardback and I was like oh I have to buy that it was a pound I had to get it because I was like, I love those books. I love them. It's probably worth bloody fortune. But the lesson, you can't find them. You can't find them anywhere. I got a Jamie Oliver flavour shaker, which then annoyed us all the way around Bridgewater. Could you try again? Shush, Siri. Shush. This annoyed us all the way around Bridgewater because it was in the bottom of my trolley and it was doing this. All the way around Bridgewater, so that was annoying. Um, four pound. Never had one in its box before. That's to resell. And then this was in that first charity shop, you know, the one, the big cancer research where everything is £3 or under. And in there I got a t-shirt for myself for £2. It's a very, very basic, just a pink t-shirt with a glittery thing on the front. To sell, I got these Evans trousers. They are a UK 26. They're linen blend. They are brand new with their tags, which is why I bought them. They were three, three pounds. I got, can, that flavour shaker is still rattling. <laughs> I got a Joe Browns, is it a top or a dress? If I could get it the right way up, we'd find out. I think it's a top. Joe Browns top with a kind of a floaty sleeve, three pounds. What size are you? It's a, it's an 18, apparently, 18. And I got a Sue Hall 
what are these called paper bearers i think paper bearers. It's snatch and friends i think it's paper bearers um single duvet cover and pillowcase set this is from 1994 so it's um older than one of my children and nearly as old as the other my children are vintage by the way i don't know if i've mentioned this before but apparently anything older than 1998 is vintage now and so therefore my children who are um 1996 and 1991 respectively i've got two vintage children I, I, how old do i feel i'm gonna try my bits on and i'll come back and show you stay there don't fall off the tripod first t-shirt like that fits comfy it's a bit faded but i think it would have been a faded design to start with is that faded kind of washed out you can't have pink if i said if you can have blue denim you can have pink denim you can have whatever bloody color denim you want but like that please with that for two quid next one much more wintry this is a really soft cut touch cozy feel i'm, I'm coming so you can feel, yeah, feel that see how soft it is <laughs> it's a soft touch cozy feel jumper and again i really like this i'm pleased with this i did actually last week or the week before declutter some clothes and get rid of some so that means i can buy more doesn't it is, doesn't it let's try the frock on bear in mind i've still got a pair of jeans on underneath i didn't take my jeans off that seems all right i would obviously wear a little something over the top i've got a little something stay there Right, I'm back wearing a little something, but this little something is supposed to be tied under the bust. And I don't think tying under the bust would work with this frock. So this might not be the little something. Might need a different little something to go with this dress. But I would wear a something, I would cover up the old arms. For starters, it's going to be flipping November, and even if I am in the Canary Islands, it's not going to be that warm. Let me put my other top back on. Well, that's not bad, is it? Total spend of £8 for two tops and a dress for myself. Quite pleased with that. And a couple of bits to resell. I don't buy a lot in charity shops anymore to resell. I do very well at the car boot sales and the um, bulk buy sacks. So charity shops are just the odd thing here and there now. Right, it's half past five. I need to pick Natalie up. I don't know whether I mentioned it's this earlier. 1732. Thank you, 1732. Series on it today. I don't know if I said this earlier, but Natalie's coming back from her holiday today. She's been in Mallorca for a week with the girls. She's back tonight. Her, the plane gets sent at 10 past 11. I'm picking them up from the airport. I think I'm going to potter about and do a couple of bits on the computer in here in a minute. I've got a couple of emails to answer and stuff like that. And then I think what I'm going to try and do is going to have a couple of hours sleep because I'm quite tired. A couple of hours sleep now and then get up again, maybe around about eight, nine o'clock and be awake to go and get them. I think that's my plan. Fingers crossed that works, because otherwise I'll be dead dead to the world tomorrow. I've got to go to work. I'll see you in a bit. Just a little update on my nap situation. It's ten past seven. I have so far failed to fall asleep. I'm watching Barry Lewis. If you don't watch Barry Lewis, you should. He's um I've mentioned him before, I know I have. He's a, a guy from Western Supermare who does cooking videos. You should watch him. Um, yeah, failing to fall asleep. My eyes were going a minute ago, but I haven't fallen asleep yet. And the more you want to fall asleep the less you fall asleep let's try again well you can't see me because it's dark you can see my glasses reflecting i've still got the telly on we have a slight change of plan natalie has messaged to say that her flight has at least a two hour delay so instead of getting in at 11 p.m they're going to get in about 1 a.m i'm going to go to sleep i'm going to go to sleep i've set i've set an alarm for half past midnight I will get up at half past midnight and if there's, a, if there's been a further delay, Natalie will have texted me to let me know. I'm going to go to sleep and um, yeah, that's all you can do, isn't it, really? Um, it's it's um, 10 to 8. I don't want now, now it's really early to go to bed now, but you know what I mean. I should have had, it's a good job I didn't have the nap, isn't it? It's a good job I couldn't get to sleep and have a nap because I've now got, I've now got not got to go anywhere until 1am. Anyway, I'm going to watch a bit more telly, then go to sleep normally. I've set an alarm for half past midnight. I'll see you later. Hello. I'm not sure how well you can see me. Strictly speaking, this is, um, this doesn't belong here now because this was supposed to be a day in the life and it is now absolutely and definitely the next day and I'm in the wrong lane. Luckily the man behind me is also in the wrong lane so we will commit that little um, incident together. Um, yeah, it's the next day, it's 3am. Natalie's flight was due to come in at 10 past 11. She's had like a three and a half hour delay. And, okay, sorry, blue flashing lights coming up ahead. Bear with me a second. Okay. We're all good, okay. <laughs> it wasn't coming for me. I just was wanted to make sure I wasn't in his way. Um, three and a half hour delay. Flight has just landed. 
so I have had um, a most unfortunate patchy night's sleep slow, slow, so far. <laughs> patchy night's sleep so far. I'm on my way to the airport to pick them up and then I've got to get them home again and try and get another couple of hours sleep before, um, before getting up for work. So yay for all of that. The one benefit of course is that if your flight lands more than three hours after it should have, you're entitled to 250 euros compensation for the length of the place that they were flying from, for the length of the flight. So they will get 250 pounds compensation each. Um, Natalie paid for the entire holiday for herself and the girls. I've just realized that the petrol station is open, so I'm gonna get some. Natalie paid for the entire holiday for her and the girls, so she'll get 750 quid back, which will make her holiday cheap as chips. Can't control, can't, can't complain about that after all, but by the time I pick them up, they're both gonna be, they're all three of them gonna be absolutely knackered. I've got Molly with me. Natalie said, can you bring Molly? I wanna see her. Um, I've picked this pump and this is not necessarily the best one because there's nothing happening in front of me. Let's try a different pump. So yeah, it's 3 a.m. and I've got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if you knew it was going to be 3 a.m. because you'd just have gone to bed properly, wouldn't you? But as it was, I've been awake on and off all night. Anyway, let's get some fuel. I'm just putting the flipping Shell Premier Gold Class fuel or something because it was the only pump I pulled up to. It's about 8p more a litre. I'm expecting my car to be a McLaren supercar now on that. Right. 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 We're not far from the airport, but um, obviously they've got to get through um, passport and baggage and all of the rest, all of the rest of that stuff. So I need to pull up somewhere outside of the airport because it costs about five five thousand pound a minute to be inside the airport or something ridiculous. So yeah, I need to pull up somewhere nearby, and then when they've got their bags, move up and get them. I'll see you guys in a bit since you can't see me anyway. Quick update, it's 20 to four. No sign of them yet, they haven't got their baggage. Natalie's texted me, their baggage hasn't come through. Six flights came in at the same time. Um, apparently they just do the belts in order and because their belt is belt six, they're the last to be done. So they're waiting for the baggage. Natalie is now close to tears apparently. It's been a, bear in mind they should have got in at 10 past 11 last night. She's got two kids with her, her um, Freya's. Freya's 12, about to turn 13, Lexi's 9, they're knackered, they're, you know, they're tired and apparently the, the girls are doing okay but Natalie's shattered now. Molly is, um, Molly's given up being in the back, she's coming in the front with mummy, haven't you? So I'm not sure why we've come out to the countryside to just sit in the dark in a lay-by mum, this seems odd. It does seem a bit strange, doesn't it? She was so funny, she knows the way from our house to my mum's. She knows, she knows that journey, she does that car journey regularly. So as we got like close to my mum, she was like, oh, I know where I am. And then we drove past, she was, I could see her looking at me, but rear view mirror, she was like, did you forget where mummy, where nanny lives? It's going to be good. You're going to see Natty in a minute. You are, hopefully. Right. Look, we're home. <laughs> you look great. Um, we have, yeah, we have children, we have dog, we have Natalie. Everybody's done in. It's bedtime. Thank you for joining me for today's vlog. I'll see you it soon. Is Take for the care. Record, it's 20 past four. It's 20 past four in the morning. I won't get off of work in a minute. Good night.